No, that has nothing to do with infertility. Um, as I mentioned, it's, um, it's a process that requires different steps to happen at the same time. So I would say it's more the chance, the probability. So you're ovulating, but you know, was intercourse at the right time? Is a sperm already there? Uh, you know, do you actually know when you're ovulating? You know, is uh, you know all these factors have to come together. And once you know that you're ovulating, once you know that you had intercourse in the days with the highest chance to conceive, and once you know, uh, you know, when your hormone peaks are, once you know your hormones are all okay, then then you can start thinking and digging into what is really causing the problem. For example, the immediate answer would be, okay, is the ovum implant good to go an implant in itself? Okay, maybe test for progesterone in urine. Yeah, urine progesterone tests. You can also uh, get them with our solution. And okay, so is, pro is progesterone uh, in a good level? Okay, it is. Okay, so now if progesterone is in a good level, if the ovum has been released at the right time, it's an it's an, a, a, an a, a, a ovulatory cycle, and uh, intercourse happen at the right time, and you're still not getting pregnant. That's also okay. Not ev we are not machines, right? So the the chance for someone getting pregnant any cycle um, is around thirty percent. So uh, if you have you tried with this same method, charting hormones, knowing when to have intercourse, testing your progesterone for at least three cycles, um, and then you can start wor worrying. But before that, uh, I think worrying about infertility without actually knowing how your hormones look like, without actually knowing when ovulation and when intercourse you should have had at the right time, I think it's a bit silly. Uh, nevertheless, it's important to check for health, of course. It's important to visit the doctor. It's important to ask them questions. Uh, they have a lot of uh, definitions, you know, for like ovulatory dysfunction and all these medical terms, you know, they will definitely help you. But please, before that, just consider that there is always a chance. You know, even though the sperm is there and it has swam over there, you know, maybe they couldn't break the barrier and fecundate the ovum this cycle. But it doesn't mean, you know, there won't be an ovum, so you could try again next cycle. So, so yeah, in, 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 in reality, so it's, it's not ovulation which defines fertility. It's, it's more like a process and the chance of conceiving. So after you have done all these steps right, then we can start looking into uh, factors that could really affect fertility.